Hello and welcome to Euroactive's EU Tweets of the Week. Europe decides to accelerate, attack on Jerno provokes Slovenian debate, and Merkel's forgetful while Macron gains weight. On Wednesday, the European Commission unveiled its plan to fight emerging COVID-19 variants, which von der Leyen considers a potential paradigm shift in this global fight. Get ready for HERA, a new public-private incubator. It stands for Health and Emergency Preparedness and Response Agency. The preparedness is silent, apparently, quipped Burley Monster. It just rolls off the tongue, snarked Jack Farrick. I myself perceive a deeper meaning. Hera, Queen of Heaven, was known to be jealous and vengeful, just saying. Natasha Foote says Commissioner Stella Kirakides is a woman after her own heart with her vaccelerate pun. And the monster exclusively revealed earlier working titles for the Vaccelerate Clinical Trials Network. Oliver Grimm, while interested in the Hera incubator, begged his fellow Brussels correspondents at the press conference to please ask VDL about the attack on our colleagues by the Slovenian Prime Minister. Ah yes, it's certainly not all pun and games for the press pack, as the Slovenian Prime Minister took aim at a journalist in a personal attack. Lily Bayer of Politico Europe wrote a piece in which she quoted many sources working for Slovenia's public media outlets, accusing PM Janez Jansa of whipping up hatred against reporters, resulting in threatening messages. Journalists say the pressure has led to self-censorship. Remarkably, Jansa responded on Twitter, claiming Lily Bayer was instructed not to tell the truth, so she quoted mainly unknown sources from the extreme left and purposefully neglected sources with names and integrity. That's political Europe, unfortunately, laying for a living. I think he means lying, but that's the least of our concerns. What's pretty amazing about the way that the Slovenian Prime Minister lashed out at this article and its author is that it is precisely acted out the behaviour described in the piece, verifying the reporting in real time, pointed out Naomi O'Leary. A Prime Minister publicly harassing a journalist. Where have I seen this before? Utterly unacceptable, said Beatrice Rios. But Jansa's move may have backfired. I've just followed Lily Bayer, who seems to be a competent journalist. Thanks for the tip, tweeted René Seindel. Finally this week, a little light relief, as Merkel and Macron let slip their human side. Very few people know that for 10 long seconds, Europe was on the verge of collapsing, joked Carol Gottfried after video of Merkel forgetting her mask went viral. We are all Angela Merkel, said Marta Dominguez. Merkel doing what we all do about 10 times a day, added Jack Parrock. I'd wager 30% of Merkel's support is due to her politics and 70% is due to relatable videos like this, said James Jackson. You're not wrong, James. Meanwhile, in France, Macron absolutely, totally, defamundly did not gain weight. He gained density and maturity, according to an official statement. According to Macron, gaining a few kilos is a positive event as it gives you substance and maturity. Don't be afraid, love your body, urged DG Meme. The next time someone says, I've put on weight, I'm definitely going to borrow this line, said Gareth Harding. And that's it for another week. Join me again next Friday for more snarks and larks in the Brussels bubble Twittersphere.